Well, hello everybody, I'm back with another video. Uh, a couple days late uh, to making this video. I was supposed to make it Sunday, actually. Today's Tuesday, just now getting around to making the video. But LSU, women's basketball to the Final Four. Uh, definitely, you know, wasn't something sitting here two years ago. You know, sitting at 9-13, and 13, I, I never would have thought it would have been a possibility. I never would have thought it'd be a reality, a possibility, anything like that. You know, just watching them, you know, the years before Kim Mulkey got here, it, it was just, you know, like I said, 9-13, and 13, you know, it was 10-11 wins a year. I mean, we were just, we were horrible. We were the last in SEC. We'd be one and done in the SEC tournament. And just the Mulkey effect has just taken over. I mean, we, we, we completely, not even in year two, year one, 26 wins. 26-6 and six in year one. With pretty much the whole entire staff before that, all, all the players, everybody from 9 and 13 season were on the 26 and 6 season. You can't tell them that's not coaching. Because all those players that were on that team prior to Moki getting here were on her team in year one. You know, she got a couple transfers and a bunch of her staff followed her. But I mean, you know, from April when she was hired to November when they started the year, I mean, that was how many months? Maybe six months. So she had a half a year. And in half a year, with the same same players, she turned it around and went from 9-13 and 13 to 26-6 and six in one year. You know, we were second-round exits. At least we made the NCAA tournament. And now we're sitting here in year two making the Final Four. I'm not going to be – I'm going to be upset, you know, if, if we get to the Final Four here in a couple of days, lose to Virginia Tech, uh, which, you know, I think very well could happen. You know, they're a really good team, one seed. You know, they have a good record. They score a lot of points like they did against Ohio State the other night. I was watching that game, kind of scouting them out, looking how they play and all that. And they shoot a lot of threes, and they make a lot of threes. I know they went at least seven or eight in the early going. I mean, they had, you know, 40-something points, almost 50 points at halftime. They're leading 48 to 45 at halftime, I do believe. So they score a lot of points, and that's not – it's not going to be uh, LSU's uh, uh, ally – if they score a lot of points on them because, you know, LSU, you know, they, they score 54 against Miami. You know, Miami's only scored 42, but, I mean, only scoring 54, that's not going to work against Virginia Tech. So, you know, even if we go to the Final Four and lose, which LSU's been five or six times, never have made it to the national championship game. I, I, we made it from 2004 or 2003 to 2008. So we made it several years in a row. Never could advance to the national title game. We were always made it to the Final Four and, and just got – out of there so you know hopefully we can you know change that narrative make it to the national title game this year you know i don't think anybody's beating south carolina I, i'll just say it here lsu's not going to go to i don't they have a very very slim chance to go there and win it but you know what hey that's all right you know at least we made it here back there like i said year two of the monkey era is you know it's just really getting underway so you know it was we're definitely ahead of schedule even if we lose in the Final Four, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to get on here and probably rant about what we did wrong. But, hey, look, the big picture is LSU women's basketball is back. We made it to we, – we have officially, you know, submitted that. I mean, we, we are back. You know, and back ain't winning. You know, if it, it's not really considered back, I don't guess, you know. We're not winning national championship after national championship. But this is back for us. A Final Four, first one since 2008. We made an Elite Eight, first one since 2008. I mean, this is about as the backest we're going to get in this quick amount of time. So, hopefully we can go to Dallas, at least advance to the national title game. That'd be awesome. I honestly think, you know, I hope Iowa out South Carolina. Any other way, any other time I'd be going for South Carolina. You know, I really like their team. I like their head coach. But, you know, for LSU's sake, I hope Iowa beats them. Because there's no way LSU's beating South Carolina. Uh... You know, they're just too they're just too good i mean just you're just gonna have to play lsu's only way if, or anybody's really only way this year beating south carolina you're gonna have to play the tip of your toes the whole game little margin of error score pretty much every time you go down there you can't make no mistakes you can't turn over the ball you can't miss wide open shots good looks you have to make your foul free throws i mean it's like trying to beat a a 2019 lsu team you know when we had that year nobody could beat us or a 20, this year, past year, Georgia team, or a 2020 Alabama team. It's just all in football references. But it's trying to be, it's like trying to beat one of those. And it's just, it's, I don't think it's going to happen. I think they're going to win back to back. Hopefully next year's LSU year to win it, at least. You know, get back to the Final Four, back to back next year, and maybe win it. We have a shooter coming in and a big coming in. Definitely the two pieces that we were missing. I do believe one's, you know, a top recruited player in the nation. So, you know, it's, 
the future's bright for LSU women's basketball, but at least we made it back to the Final Four. Hopefully we can, you know, win against Virginia Tech Friday uh, and advance to the national title game. Probably we'll be playing South Carolina, although Iowa could give them trouble in the Final Four. I was not a pushover at all. I, I think South Carolina will probably win by double digits, but I think they get do against everybody. Uh, but it's it's no pushover, that's for sure. Uh, Iowa scores a lot of points. Uh, they have one player, Caitlin Clark. I'm sure everybody in the women's basketball world knows who that is. Kind of like, you know, Angel Reese, Aaliyah Boss, and all those players like that are just, they stand out. And she basically carries that whole team. You know, every time I've watched Iowa women's basketball this year, it's her scoring 100 million points a game. So, you know, South Carolina controls her, the game's over. They don't, it could be, that like, Iowa could beat them, so... That definitely could be the highlight of the semifinal. LSU, Virginia Tech's going to be good, but if you're not an LSU, Virginia Tech fan, you're not really looking forward to that game. I wouldn't. Uh, but um, getting off the women's basketball subject, uh, baseball wins, Ar beats Arkansas, loses the first game, uh, comes back in a doubleheader on Saturday, wins both games. Uh, so wins the series, gets number five Arkansas. Grandma State here, probably starting about now. Uh, it's probably about 6.30 now. Let me go ahead and put it on the ESPN app. But, um, you know, so it's, the baseball team, I, I didn't see them winning back-to-back -back games Saturday, that's for sure. Uh, they were supposed to play Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They are expecting rain on Sunday, so they didn't play that one. Uh, but LSU goes in there, even though, you know, their ace, Paul Skeens, doesn't get them the win on uh, Friday. It wasn't his fault, though. Uh, a lot of those runs, eight of those runs, were on Christian Little. Uh, so, or, or I don't think all of them. But they had eight runs in one inning. Top of the tenth, I do believe. Uh, so, eight, eight of them were on, I know a lot of them were on Little in that inning. I don't know if they, all eight were on them, but uh, definitely a lot of them were. So, uh, pitching in the second game was, you know, I, I really didn't watch it. I was on the road all day. Neither I did. Neither... The uh, second game, but the, the hitting was definitely on. We scored, um, you know, a lot of runs in the second game and the third game. So, definitely, I have to look at the official you know, run count. Um, but, you know, the hitting was definitely on those two games. That's the reason, really, why we won it. So, um, LSU Women's Basketball, Final Four, Virginia Tech Friday. Uh, LSU Baseball, playing Grandland State here, probably now. Let me put it on there. Uh, let me find it. I'll also have a three-game series against Tennessee coming up. Uh, starting Thursday for some reason. I don't know why they're starting Thursday. I guess three in a row, I do believe. They have against Tennessee, then South Carolina, Kentucky, or, yeah, I do believe, yes, Kentucky. So three Thursday starts in a row. Uh, Rella Shoe, Tennessee, definitely a good team. You know, coming off a series sweep. Did they sweep Texas A&M? Or for sure, definitely a uh, a series win. Uh, I think they swept them. Uh, after getting swept, what is all this? Uh, I'm going to have to figure this out. But uh, they're coming off a uh, Missouri getting sweeping Tennessee. And I think they swept uh, Texas A&M. That make Texas A&M what? Yeah, they did sweep them. Okay, because I knew, I didn't think Texas A&M was defeated in the SEC, and I forgot they beat us that one last game, so... I do believe they they did sweep them, so a uh, good rebound for Tennessee. It's going to be, they're going to give us trouble. Uh, a lot of SEC teams that you're going to give LSU trouble, but uh, hopefully we can win the series. I'm going to get out of here, figure this ESPN stuff out, asking about all sorts of stuff on here. But uh, LSU women's basketball Friday against Virginia Tech. Uh, baseball three-game series against Tennessee this weekend, playing Grandma State right now. I'll have more videos uh, soon, so stay tuned.